In this video, we are going to see trend trading with trend lines. So this is a two part series. And in this uh, series, I'm going to explain you the trend line method suggested by Thomas DeMock. In the first series, uh, we'll going to, we are going to identify TD points. And uh, in the next step, what we are going to see is after identifying relevant TD points, how to join them and make them into TD lines, that is trend lines. In the next part, we'll see entry, exit, and stop loss. So TD points is nothing but a pivot point. Uh, Mr. Demark defined them as a demand point and a supply point. The first step is to identify uh, TD points on the chart. There are very specific rules for this. Uh, we'll be uh, taking them up shortly. And the second step is to identify which TD point is actually more important. All right. Now, traditional trend line actually ignores this method. Uh, uh, you know, you can uh, take n number of points on a chart and connect them. That is how we have all learned trend lines. But uh, uh, by the time I am done with this uh, two part series, uh, let me assure you that uh, your way of looking at trend lines will change forever. Okay. So uh, what Mr. Demark has done is he has defined precise ways of uh, identifying, uh, you know, relevant points and then and then uh, by connecting those points, you actually get a, a relevant uh, TD line. That is a trend line. All right. So these three lines that you see here are uh, typical bar chart lines. I haven't included included open and close. Uh, I've just uh, left low, high for this bar. This is the low, this is the high, and this is the low, and this is the high. Okay. So we have three bars here. Now this is a, a distinct lower high with respect to this bar and this for this bar forms a distinct lower high with respect to this bar. All right. So the first step in uh, this method is to determine a valid TD point. Now, as far as TD point are concerned, there are various level of TD points that is level one, level two, level three, so on and so forth. So here we have a level two TD supply point. What it means is that uh, take this bar into consideration. Uh, there are two bars before this bar which have distinct lower high. This is a lower high with respect to this high and this is a lower high with respect to this and this high. And same goes on the right side. Now when you identify a relevant TD point, the balance has to be maintained on both sides. That is if you get a two or three relevant lower highs here, there has to be at least three lower highs here for this to be qualified as a level three TD point. Now I'll just explain again. If you look at this bar, there are two highs before, two lower highs before this bar. One, two, right? And same on the right side. One, two. So this becomes a level two TD point. Okay. So the importance of a TD point is actually determined by the number of surrounding highs and lows. Okay. So a level two TD point will be more important than a level one TD point. So this char this chart that you see is actually level one TD point. There are, there is just one bar bar which is which has a lower high with compared to this high, and same on the right side. Okay. So now we come to this is a level one TD supply point. I have just explained. Look at this. Now this is a level three TD supply point. Why? Because take this bar as a reference bar. So we have one, two, three lower highs, right? On the left side, we have one, two, three lower highs, right? So this becomes a level three uh, supply point. Now level three TD supply point has much greater relevance than level one and level two. Okay. So we'll just take up a level three TD demand point. A TD demand point means you have higher lows on this side and higher lows on left side. So why this is level three TD demand point? Because we have one, two, and three higher lows. All right. Same on the right side and on the left side, three distinct higher lows. Okay. But it has to be equal. Sometimes it may happen that you just get three higher lows here and you get seven here, but still this point would qualify only as a three, a level three TD point, because on both sides, you need same number of distinct higher lows. All right. I hope I'm clear. So I'll just take up an example here on the chart. So you see this reference candle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven lower highs. Okay. Let's see how much we, how many we have on the right side. 
वन टू थ्री ना फोर्थ के नॉट काउंट बिकॉज द हाई हैज सरपास दिस कैंडल्स हाई और राइट सो द मैक्सिमम लेवल ऑफ यू नो टी टी पॉइंट दैट वी कैन गेट हेयर इज थ्री वाई बिकॉज वन टू थ्री एंड वन टू थ्री लोअर हाईज ओके सो दैट इज हाउ यू क्लासीफाई सो नाउ दैट यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई अ टी डी पॉइंट लेट इज मूव ऑन टू टी डी लाइन सो देर आर सम स्पेसिफिक रूल्स फॉर ड्रॉइंग टी डी लाइन्स The number one rule is that a TD line can only be drawn between two valid points. Now this is an extremely important step because in a traditional trend line method we can see that we can take n number of points and join them together. So that creates a sort of confusion uh, as to which point we should prefer uh, or which points we should prefer, right? So in this method we have a very clear guidelines that is we need only two valid points, right? And the TD lines are actually drawn from right to left. now hypothetically let's say we have to draw a td line a normal trend line i'm sorry a normal trend line on this chart what we do is we take up this point we take up this point and we just draw the line right so we are going from left to right but in a td line method we go from right to left why this is important because uh, while drawing a trend line you start with the most recent price action okay so that is why this trend line method is actually closest to what the market is doing right now right so the next rule uh, that we have to apply for td line is that we need to have same level of td points right so that means a level 3 td point has to be connected with another level 3 td point now there are some variations of this in some books and you can connect a level 3 with level 2 or level 1 but i strongly recommend that you maintain this uh, symmetry that if you get a level 3 td point make sure you connect it only with a level 3 td point the main advantage of this is that uh, you will have consistency throughout the year let's say you take up this method for one year and the number of whipsaws actually get minimized to a great extent okay so let us move to specific examples here so this is a level 2 td line i'll just uh, determine how it's calculated so this is one point and this is another point let's assume we don't have anything here we just have this section i have taken up this price action and zoomed up uh, zoomed it up and uh, it it's uh, uh, you know i've pasted it here and similarly this price action i've zoomed in and i've posted it here so that it's easy to see now if you look at this uh, this portion let's see here. so this is the relevant candle so we get one two distinct lower highs on the right side we get 1 2 so this becomes a level 2 td point if you see on the right side we do get many more but uh, on the left side uh, you get a violation here right so we only get 1 2 on the right side we get 1 2 3 4 5 6 but it's irrelevant because the maximum level of td point that we can reach is only 2 right and same is for this case we get 1 2 distinct lower highs and 1 2 on the right side right so once we get two td points we simply draw the line from right to left all right i hope i am clear how td line is constructed right so let us move to one more example so this is a td demand line so what we have here again we take up this point and this point and join it together now i have taken up this example del deliberately because you will actually come to know the advantage of td line method so this price action I have actually zoomed in and uh, you know uh, copied it here, and this price action I have zoomed in and copied it here. So let us assume we are at this point, right? So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, you know, higher lows. Okay. On left side, let's see how many we get. One, two, three. Why only three? Because this fourth candle has violated this candle's low. so the maximum level of td point that we can get is level 3 okay so we have identified one point now let's move towards the left side we get one point here so let's see whether we get a level 3 td point here as well why because remember the rule you have to connect one level of td point with another level of td point and that level has to be the same either level 1 td point level 2 td points level 3 level 4 or so on and so forth i hope i am clear so we get 1 2 3 so criteria is satisfied let's come to the left side 1 2 third is not satisfied because we get a 
low that is lower than this candle okay so then we move to the left side we come to this retracement so let us look here one two three on the right side the criteria is satisfied let's look on the left side one two third we, we, third criteria third candle is uh, it violates the criteria because we get a lower low with respect to this candle so then we again move to this point next pivot point so we get one two three on the right side on the left side we get one two and three right so three higher lows here and three higher lows here so this becomes the point number two we take a, a, a take up we start a line from here and extend it to here now see this is the advantage that you have removed all the irrelevant points and we have joined them now let's assume you don't know about this method you know what you'll do you'll just take up this point this point and this point and we'll draw a trend line from here to here now we have all done that and i think um, most of you who are watching this video you would still be doing this but don't do it because uh, we should be thankful to mr d mark that this method uh, you know that he has uh, discovered with his research he has you know uh, shared with all of us and um, again if you start practicing this you will be amazed to see how easy you know trading gets with trend lines okay so i'll just sum up the key points so in the next section we are going to see entry exit and stop loss and targets so don't miss out the next section always remember to start from right to left that is the main advantage of bmark trend lines that we stay close to you know the current price action uh, the third important point is that always connect the same degree of uh, you know td points that is but a second level of td point should be connected connected with a second level of td point or a fifth level of td point should be connected with a fifth level of td point okay so higher degree of td point you know it's it's always better to draw a trend line with a higher degree of td point because obviously a level 3 td point would have a higher significance than a level 1 or a level 9 td line td point or a level 7 td point would obviously have a more significance than level 3 td point okay so the main advantage of this approach is that it filters out a lot of whipsaws and again it gives you a consistent well structured approach towards trend lines okay so this is my mail id twitter and youtube in case you have any doubts do reach out to me and do watch the next uh, uh, video on trend lines it will release tomorrow in case you have any doubts please please reach out thanks a lot for watching this video